Number three, light shows staged with lasers use moving mirrors to swing beams and create colorful effects. Show that a light ray reflected from a mirror changes direction by two theta when the mirror is rotated by an angle of theta. So pretend you have a mirror, okay? And uh, let's draw the normal to the mirror, 90 degree angle, or, all right, relative then to uh, the mirror, right, perpendicular. Let's also assume that we have an incident ray, okay, coming in. Now this incident light ray, I'll put a little star there, it ain't moving, okay? In other words, um, when we rotate now the mirror, we're going to assume that this light source does not move, okay? Now, let's make up an angle of incidence. The angle of incidence is always relative to the normal. Make it up. What do you want it to be? 20? Good. That's what I was thinking. So let's make it, let's make it 20, okay? That means that this reflected ray now, all right, will also have the same angle of reflection here. Okay, that will also be now 20 degrees. Cool. Now, if that's 20, what is this angle then in here? Well, that should be 70, right? 70 degrees. Cool. That also means that this angle is 70 degrees. Okay. All right. So what I'm doing here is I'm not going to prove this with all types of formulas because I'm not even going to understand it. Let's think about it logically. Okay. So let's now say we're going to rotate the mirror. And we're going to take the mirror, the mirror, All right? Let's take the mirror and we're going to rotate it. And let's rotate that mirror. All right. Uh, I don't know. How many degrees do you want it to rotate? Why don't we rotate it 30? Okay. So we're going to start at zero. And we're going to rotate it 30 degrees. Now, if you rotate it 30 degrees, what do you think happens to now this angle in here in blue? Watch it again. Ready? Watch it again. If I rotate now 30 degrees, what do you think is happening to that blue angle there? Right, as I go, ready? 10, 20, 30. What do you think that angle becomes now? Well, if it started at 70 and you're rotating at 30 degrees, that must mean that that angle becomes 40 degrees now. Does that make sense? 40, 40 degrees, okay? Now, what's also going to be rotating is the normal because the normal is always a 90 degree it's just a 90 degree line relative a perpendicular line relative to the mirror okay so what's going to happen now remember this is the light source it's still uh incident now meaning uh hitting upon the mirror but the reflected ray is going to be somewhere like out here now you know what i mean it's no longer here so what we're going to do is we're literally just going to erase this side okay erase it because that no longer is the reflected ray and what we're going to do here is i'm going to take this and I'm going to rotate this now so that it's 90 degrees, okay? Because it always has to be 90. Now, here's the thing. Remember we started with 20, okay? Remember that. I'm going to erase it and write it bigger. Remember we started with 20, okay? 20. Now, what does this angle in here now have to become? If it started at 20, right, and you rotated it 30 degrees, what do you think it's going to become? You can think about it a couple of ways. If this is 90 degrees, and you can see that this is clearly 40, then this angle in here, the angle of incidence, clearly has to be 50. Okay? Clearly has to be 50. Cool? Now, if this is the angle of incidence, then what's the angle of reflection now? Well, it's the same thing, right? The angle of reflection now is also going to be 50 degrees. That's the law of reflection. Incidence will always equal reflected, okay, relative to the normal. Well, if that's 50 and that's 50, then what is the rest here? You know, we probably don't even need it, but that should be 40. All right, there's some symmetry. Now, think about this. This was the original now. This was the original angle, okay? This was the original incident angle. We can call it theta incident was equal to 20, the uh, initial one. So I'll write like initial, all right? We also had the angle of reflection, the initial, was also equal to 20, right? But now after I rotated, so how much did we rotate the mirror? We rotated the mirror, the mirror by, I'm from New York, okay? Uh, we rotated the mirror by 30 degrees. And we noticed that the angle then of incidence now, the final one, 
changed to now 50, okay? And the angle here now, uh, the uh, reflected ray, I don't know what that line is at the bottom, the reflected one finally became also 50, right? Now here's the thing. How much now, okay, here's the question now. How much now did the incident or the reflected ray change by? Well, here's the thing, okay? The angle here went from being 20 to now it became 50, right? The reflected ray went from 20 to 50. So how much did that change by? Well, that changed by 30, okay? That changed by 30, right? So the, the change in the reflected ray, okay? Simply the, this, this side that was reflected, all right? Change by 30 degrees. And the angle that the mirror was rotated, right, was also 30 degrees. But what they're really asking here is they're really asking, it says show the light ray reflected from a mirror changes direction. What they're really saying is that this incident ray now changed a total direction, okay? It changed a total direction of what? It now changed a total direction of, remember, originally it was basically about here. Remember, it was basically like about there, okay? And remember that this total distance between the two originally was 40 degrees, okay? Was 40 degrees. But now, what is the new difference between them? The new difference between them now is 50 plus 50. So now that is now a total of 100 degrees. So this total change now, this represents the total change, not just the reflected rays value, but the total change, the total change in the angle, the total change is equal to 100. But the angle then of rotation of the mirror, we'll say rotation was going to be 30, right? Now, what is the difference between 100 and 40? Well, the difference between those two is 60, right? So technically, I should write in here, technically, the, the change in the total value, I should have said this, that the total value now, the, the total value now at the final is going to be equal to 100. The total value initial was equal to 40. And now the change in the total value is 60, okay? But this is exactly what we're trying to show, that the angle, the mirror was rotated by 30 degrees, and the change now in the total angle of reflection was now two times that value, right? 30 times two is 60. And this is what we're trying to prove, that as the mirror rotates by 30 degrees, the change in the total uh, angle of reflection changes by then twice that amount, so it changed by 60. All right, so we kind of proved it here without all types of letters and all this mumbo jumbo. But, you know, that's how I like to view it. And you can change the numbers if you like, and you're going to come up with the same conclusion. So that's that. All right, guys? So hopefully that helps. Um, you know, some might be seeking more of a math explanation, but I think that's probably the minority. Um, you know, you can definitely prove it to yourself mathematically if you like. Start, instead of using numbers, start using variables. And you're going to literally come up with the same conclusion. It's just some people like to, most people like to work with real numbers. Okay. But, you know, to each their own. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do hope this video helps. If it does, give us a hand. Like, subscribe, maybe even tell your classmates. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.